Amazingly, this show has been with us for 15 seasons. Let's have a look at what the America's Got Talent champions are doing now. You'll be surprised to learn which one of them is the most successful, who swapped singing for acting, and who chose to step down from performing altogether. Let's dive in. Season 1 – Bianca Ryan The 11-year-old singing sensation won our hearts with her spectacular voice. The first ever AGT winner recorded her debut album soon after her win. However, Bianca was disappointed with it. I didn't have a say on what went on my CD, she revealed. I didn't feel like it was really me. Ryan even decided to step down from singing for some time and do some acting instead. She starred in an indie movie, We Are Kings, which actually featured one of Bianca's original songs. Her music comeback only happened in 2015 when the singer recorded a song, Alice, but her career screeched to a halt again because of her health issues. Tragically, Bianca started to lose her voice. Her vocal cord was paralyzed and the condition required surgery. He said that I was going to have to get vocal surgery, and um, with vocal surgery, you know, there's a chance that you may never be able to sing again. Thankfully, the risky surgery was a success. And although Bianca had to literally relearn how to sing, she soon released a handful of songs she could finally be proud of. With her health back to normal, Ryan also made her triumphant return to America's Got Talent, The Champions. By the way, the singer saved most of the grand prize she won. The money was put away for her until she turned 21. But still, she's not the richest AGT winner. Season 2 – Terry Fater Who would have guessed that a ventriloquist would win the show? Some might say that Terry became an overnight success. However, it took him almost 30 years of hard work to become a household name. What's unique about Terry is that on top of being an amazing ventriloquist, he also has a terrific voice. This helped him win America's Got Talent and to become one of the highest paid entertainers in the world. After his win, Fater went on to write a book, voice a character on Disney, and make a guest appearance in the TV series Drop Dead Diva. But most importantly, he realized his lifelong dream of becoming a Las Vegas headliner. Terry has a $100 million contract at the Mirage, where he has regularly performed for the past 10 years already. Unfortunately, not everyone has been that lucky. Season 3 – Neil E. Boyd he enchanted us with his operatic voice, but little did we know how tough Neil's life was. Fascinated with classical music from an early age, Boyd grew up in poverty. Despite this, he set his sights on becoming an opera singer. At the age of 26, he made his solo debut at the famed Carnegie Hall. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to make singing his profession. At the time of his AGT audition, Neil worked as an insurance salesman. After winning the show, Boyd released the album titled My American Dream and went on to perform in Las Vegas. But four years ago, tragedy struck. Boyd and his mother got into a near-fatal car accident. The singer never fully recovered from his injuries. However, he remained optimistic and started raising money to record a new album. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Neil Boyd passed away in 2018 from a combination of heart, kidney, and liver problems. He was 42. Unfortunately, the story of the next AGT winner is also quite a sad one. Season 4 – Kevin Skinner The judges compared him to a diamond in the rough, because at the time of his audition, Kevin was an unemployed farmer. After he got his prize, Skinner released two albums and briefly headlined a show in Las Vegas. However, since then, he's fallen on hard times. His wife left him, and Kevin was struggling with depression. He made headlines in 2014 when he was reported as missing, but fortunately was soon found safe. Ever since then, Skinner has chosen to retreat from the spotlight. But we hope that one day we will hear his music once again. Fortunately, our next AGT winner's career is more successful. Season 5 – Michael Grimm This singer and songwriter used his million-dollar payout to buy a new house for his grandparents, whose home was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina. That same year, Michael proposed to his girlfriend Lucy on The Allen Show. No wonder she said yes! They got married in 2011 in a small private ceremony in Hawaii. Grimm went on to release three albums, but then decided to focus on doing live shows. And last year, he returned to the AGT stage in its spin-off The Champions. Now, let's talk about the winner whose story is really inspiring. Season 6 – Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. Shockingly, before getting into the talent show competition, he was completely homeless and was living in his car. 
Basically, he had nothing to lose, so he just won. You keep trying, you keep trying, and then you finally get that big break. And it turned Murphy's life around. The jazz singer launched a successful career. He released three albums, performed all over the world, appeared in several movies, and penned a book titled Landau, From Washing Cars to Hollywood Star. He's also helped raise millions of dollars for children's charities in his home state of West Virginia. During the pandemic, Murphy used his downtime to earn his high school equivalency diploma. Now, let's move on to the following year's Fairy Champions. Season 7 – Olate Dogs For Richard Olate, winning the show became the embodiment of the American dream. He grew up in South America in a poor family. As a young boy, Richard rescued street dogs and discovered he had a gift for training them. Later, he became part of a circus group and moved to the US. His son Nicholas is also an integral part of the Olate Dogs show, as well as a talented singer. He released an album titled Think Big. By the way, the dogs themselves have their own Olate Dogs Christmas CD, where they bark the holiday classics. And of course, they still tour the country year-round, just like our next winner. Season 8 – Kenichi Abina The multi-talented dancer and performing artist went on to tour worldwide after his win in 2013. He visited more than 30 countries, where he not only performed, but also directed and choreographed many projects. Apart from that, Kenichi developed an iPhone app called Dancish Me. Most recently, he appeared on a virtual gala event by the Japan America Society of Indiana. And yet another performer has just resumed his show following a hiatus. Season 9 – Matt Franco The first magician to win AGT, Matt soon created and debuted his live stage show. He's performed in Las Vegas ever since, leaving audiences awestruck with his effortless humor and breathtaking magic. But the happiest event for Franco happened two years ago when he tied the knot with his college sweetheart, Tiana. Season 10 – Paul Zerdin The British comedian traveled across the pond to become the second ventriloquist to win on AGT. Just like many of his fellow champions, he went on to headline a show in Las Vegas. However, it was closed after four months due to poor ticket sales. Paul returned to the UK, where he performed on Disney Cruises and on London's West End. Sadly, all the shows were cancelled as a result of lockdown. But this June, Zardin has finally returned to the stage. Next, let's talk about one of the most beloved young winners. Season 11 – Grace Vanderwall if you still think of her as a little girl, you probably wouldn't even recognize her now. A couple of years ago, the now 17-year-old star started embracing edgier hairstyles. First, she cut her hair short, then dyed her pixie cut pink. And last year, she went even further and shaved her hair off. Such a drastic change of style went along with Grace swapping out her staple ukulele to show off her bass guitar skills. This spring, the AGT winner released her all-new alternative-infused pop song, which feels very different from anything Grace has done before. However, it's not like we didn't see it coming. In 2018, Vanderwall toured with Imagine Dragons, and the next year she joined Florence and the Machine on tour as their opener. Apart from music, Grace also starred in the musical drama film Stargirl just last year. I would love to do like more abstract roles and things like that because I'm, I'm actually very interested in movies and cinema and, and um, all that stuff and like camera work and blah blah blah. It's already confirmed that the movie is getting a sequel, so we'll definitely see Grace on screen again. And what about her fellow champion, who also won AGT at the age of 12? Season 12 – Darcy Lynn After winning, the young singer and ventriloquist went on a national tour and then did another tour a couple of years later. Still, she stayed grounded and maintained a normal life as much as possible. For example, all show dates are planned around her school schedule. The shows are all on weekends, so I could go to school during weekdays, Darcy Lynn shared. In 2019, she returned to America's Got Talent, The Champions, first as a contender, then in several guest performances. The 16-year-old continues to hone her craft and has new puppet friends, one of which can even rap. And most recently, she appeared in an episode of Nickelodeon's show Side Hustle as the Wombat. Now, let's move on to a very special winner. Season 13 – Shin Lim This magician didn't just win the big prize on AGT, but also on its spin-off, The Champions. But it might have never happened. Seven years ago, the sleight-of-hand artist severely injured his thumb while rehearsing an illusion. His recovery took nine months. And at the time, Shin got really depressed because he wasn't able to do the moves correctly for almost a year. Fortunately, his hand eventually healed, and the rest is history. 
after winning the original show, Lim toured across the country. Then he was given his very own residency in Vegas and his show, Limitless, has recently been renewed after a hiatus. Next, let's have a look at what one of the most recent AGT stars is doing now. Season 14 – Cody Lee Like most of the champions before him, since his triumph, Cody was headlining his own show in Las Vegas. But then, COVID-19 hit and all shows were halted. However, it didn't stop Lee from sharing his musical talents with his fans on Instagram and TikTok. He also continues to participate in charity events, both virtually and in person. Plus, Cody's been working on an album, so we might get to hear some new songs soon. And finally, here's some news about the latest AGT winner. Season 15 – Brandon Leake He became the first spoken word poet to ever win America's Got Talent. After the show, Leake toured to promote his poetry book called Deficiencies – A Tale from My Dark Side. He also got the chance to headline his own show, but this has been delayed for obvious reasons. So, for now, Brandon's got other things on his mind. He plans to shoot a short film. Plus, Brandon and his wife Anna are preparing for another exciting event. They're expecting a baby boy who'll be their second child. We'll be following this AGT winner for more news. And, of course, we'll keep an eye on season 16 to learn who'll be the next to win the million dollar prize and our hearts. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay awesome.